Okay, this is Rick Cruz. I, um, I wanted to show people how to candle martin eggs. Um, candling is the process of sticking a light next to an egg to see if the embryo is inside developing. If there's no embryo in the egg, the egg isn't fertilized, it's infertile, and it'll never hatch. Um, I do this to predict what's going to come out of the nest so I can kind of be prepared. Um, usually, what I have noticed is usually within 24 hours of the female incubating the eggs, there shows some life within it. And I thought I would demonstrate how I do this. You don't have to touch the eggs to do this, but it'll give you an idea on um, what to look for when you candle an egg. I use this uh, high powered um, pen light. It's really high powered. Um, and all you have to do is touch, just put this up to the egg and you'll be able to see. So here I have a nest. The last time I checked this was a little over a week ago. And we have a nest of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eggs. Okay. You zooming in there? Mm -hmm. I'm going to just candle them. If you look, you'll see that this egg has got veins in it. See the veins? And the egg has got a, a reddish orange tinge. This egg has nothing in it. They're all laid at the same time. They all should develop at the same time. This is going to be an infertile egg. There's no, nothing, there's no life in there. That's what we would call clear. Let's look at all the other eggs. This one has got that same color. It's reddish tinge. You look, you can see veins in it. Same with this one. Same with this one. There's a good example. See the veins in the egg? Here too, you see the red veins in the egg as the embryo is developing. This one too. So here's a clutch of seven eggs, which is unusual. Six of them are fertile. You don't have to touch the eggs to do this. This will give you an idea if you have a, a fertile clutch or not. And like I said, it should take within 24 hours of incubation to show life in those eggs. Let's see if I can find another one here if you get good at this you can tell just by looking at the eggs if they're fertile or not they have a they're, they're, they have a certain density to their look I suspect all these eggs here are fertile there's a real good one there's the embryo my fingers are jumpy I want to apologize for that yeah. Look at the embryo. If you look close, you can see its heart beating. See its heart beating? Its heart is beating. That's a great picture. There is a Martin embryo in that egg. There is a clip. Well, no, that, that, there's a good egg, too. That egg, it's got an embryo in it, too. Can you get that? Mm -hmm. Now, that one seems to be a little behind in development than the others. The others seem a little more red. That one, that baby's gonna hatch a little later. Okay, so he has the potential to be a smaller one or a runt. And the reason I do this is I'll be able to take that runt and move him to a better nest so he has a better chance of survival. This is why I candle the eggs. The whole point here of us keeping Martins is to keep them in the sky. We want to get as many healthy birds out there as possible, out into the sky. And sometimes, I take this stuff seriously, and I do a little more than the average Martin landlord. So, some people think that this is dangerous to teach people this. But as you see, you don't have to touch the eggs to do this. All you need is a good pen light. That's it. And that, and you can put that in your records, so you know what to expect. So, um, it's not that I want to encourage people to do this, but if you feel that you are capable enough and you're mature enough and you are able to do something like this to improve on your technique of taking care of Martins, um, I, I would suggest it. But if you don't feel comfortable doing it, don't do it. But as you can see, I don't have to touch the eggs. So, uh, but that was a good demonstration. You got to see an embryo developing. 
and I'll just keep an eye on the county. I'll know when they're going to be ready to hatch, and I'll be able to, to take care of them better just having information. There's nothing wrong with having more information. Thank you for your time.